Thanks a lot, Katie. Getting people back into temporary housing, especially after Ian took out so many previous homes and now with the storm season coming, it's a real concern. Also in the Harlem Heights neighborhood of Fort Myers with Habitat for Humanity and FEMA working on a land lease agreement for 24 acres to serve as temporary housing. So let's go out to Fox 4's Elise Chingari joining us live from the future site of Heritage Heights. This will be a neighborhood within Harlem Heights hard hit by Ian and Elise Fox 4 spent a lot of time here after the storm. Nadine and Chris, we're here in that area. So basically Habitat for Humanity tells me they own this land. However, they are leasing it to FEMA. And a lot of you have told us your frustrations trying to get information back from FEMA, especially when it comes from all the devastation after Hurricane Ian. And we felt that today, you know, I was asking when those trailers are going to be set up here. Habitat for Humanity told me that that is something that only FEMA can answer. When I got with FEMA, finally later throughout today, they told me that Habitat for Humanity has to answer that and it went back and forth all the way until FEMA actually showed up. I asked them multiple times. They finally gave us an answer and said that this construction site should be set in the next 60 days. Take a listen. Construction starting this week and um, it should take about 60 days to get all of the sites prepared and get the trailers in and ready to uh, get some applicants in. And when it comes to the applications, the application period for this disaster is over, so we have identified people who still need um, disaster housing and those people have been notified and they will be notified and we'll keep continuing to reach out to them. Um, just to make sure that they're still in need of housing. Habitat for Humanity said 58 families will live in the FEMA trailers and that it's temporary housing. We still own this land and in the future, when the temporary housing is complete and this project is complete, we will build single family and townhomes uh, for families in need who make between 30 and 80% of the um, area median income. So one day this will be a habitat community that will develop. I had plenty of questions for FEMA. Some went unanswered as to where are the trailers and if families are already assigned. Do they know they will be living here and getting housing? We did get an answer from FEMA late this evening and FEMA only wrote us that FEMA direct housing program runs for 18 months from the date of the declaration. So until March 2024, the US Army Corps of Engineers did offer more context for us. We're executing a contract, construction contract for FEMA for a temporary group site, uh, 58 units with a construction duration of roughly about 60 days. The contract was awarded around 18 of May and we look to finish on or about June 20th, uh -huh. depending on supply issues and or the weather that may push us out a little bit, but we're shooting to get everything done by the 20th of June. That engineer explained to us that once they complete that contract, then the subcontractor with femur comes in and they install those trailers. Live here in Fort Myers, Elise Chingari, Fox 4.